हेलो स्टूडेंट्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू प्रूव द इंपॉर्टेंट थ्योरम दैट नंबर ऑफ इवन परमोटेशंस इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ ऑड परमोटेशंस कंसीडर द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द थ्योरम फॉर एनी इंटीजर एन ग्रेटर देन आर इक्वल टू टू exactly half of the permutations in hn are odd and half are even that is total number of permutations in hn is n factorial then even number of even permutations is n factorial by 2 and number of odd permutations is n factorial by 2 that is we are going to prove that exactly half are even and exactly half are odd to prove this theorem let e denotes the set of all even permutations on n symbols and capital o be the set of all odd permutations on n symbols then we know that i that is the identity permutation is always an even permutation so this identity permutation e i belongs to e therefore this e is not empty e is not empty this e is not empty similarly the na transposition belongs to hn and this transposition is always an odd permutation so this transposition 2 is equal to ab belongs to o so therefore this o set of all odd permutation is again a again a non empty where a and b belongs to the symbols 1 to n and a is not equal to b to obtain the this transposition now we define define a function define a function f from e to o by f from e to o by f of sigma is equal to sigma is any even permutation f of sigma is equal to to sigma for all sigma belongs to for all sigma belongs to e that is e sigma is an even permutation the sigma is even permutation even permutation C L then F is well defined. Then this function F is well defined. Number one, F is well defined. How? Why this F is well defined? Well defined. If sigma one is equal to sigma two, if sigma one is equal to sigma two, sigma one comma sigma two belongs to E. Then Then what happens here? Then sigma one is equal to sigma two implies that this implies that two sigma one is equal to two sigma two. This implies that f of sigma one is equal to f of sigma two. Also, one more thing is. is to note that one more thing is to note that this since this sigma is a even permutation this to sigma is a odd permutation why this to sigma is a odd permutation because this to is a odd permutation and product of odd and even permutation is again a odd permutation now one more thing is note that here here sigma belongs to e comma to belongs to odd implies that this to sigma is again a unique odd permutation it belongs to o thus f is thus f is well defined function this function is a well defined function now we are going to up so that this function is 1 1 and on 2 for that we have defined this function second one we have to show that this function is 
we have to show that this function is 1 1 that is f is 1 1 or injective 1 1 or injective for that consider consider f of sigma 1 equal to f of sigma 2 sigma 1 and sigma 2 are belongs to E this implies that what is f of sigma 1 f of sigma 1 is 2 sigma 1 is equal to 2 sigma 2 since this 2 belongs to a SM 2 inverse exits 2 so applying 2 inverse on the left on both sides so 2 inverse or you may take simply 2 2 inverse is a 2 again so 2 inverse 2 sigma 1 is equal to 2 inverse 2 sigma 2 this implies that 2 inverse 2 using associative law of sigma 1 is equal to 2 inverse 2 of sigma 2 this implies that 2 inverse 2 is what this is again identity permutation i sigma 1 is equal to i sigma 2 this implies that sigma 1 is equal to sigma 2 so we have obtained that this f of sigma 1 is equal to f of sigma 2 implies sigma 1 is equal to sigma 2 thus thus therefore f is f is 1 1 now we are going to prove that this f is on 2 we are going to prove that f is on 2 so consider consider any odd permutation any odd permutation let consider any odd permutation permutation sigma dash belongs to O that is any odd permutation consider any odd permutation sigma dash belongs to O then for this odd permutation sigma dash we have to find an even permutation such that f of that even permutation is equal to sigma dash then then since this sigma dash is an odd permutation we have 2 sigma dash then this 2 sigma dash belongs to you 2 sigma dash is an even permutation because product of two odd permutation is again a even permutation now consider now consider f of 2 sigma dash is equal to 2 of 2 sigma dash f of 2 sigma dash is 2 of 2 sigma dash this is 2 into 2 sigma dash and this is equal to 2 into 2 into sigma dash this is equal to what is 2 into 2 2 is a transposition and product of transposition is a identity permutation product of the same transform this is i of sigma 1 sorry i of sigma dash i of sigma dash i of sigma dash is again a sigma dash therefore for any permutation sigma dash or permutation sigma dash belongs to there exist a 2 sigma dash an even permutation belongs to E such that f of 2 sigma dash is equal to sigma dash therefore f is on 2 therefore f is on 2 see here from 1 2 and 3 that is what is 1 2 and 3 1 gives us f is a well defined function f is a well defined function and second one is f is a injective function 1 1 function and third one f is a onto function means what number of even permutation because 1 1 correspondence we get the 1 1 correspondence between even permutations and odd permutations so f so this implies that what this implies thus from 1 to and 3 we have number of even permutations thus we have number of even permutations is equal to number of even permutations 
even permutations is equal to number of odd permutations number of odd permutations number of long permutations also we have we have any permutation we have property any permutation any permutation is either even or odd but not both but not both not both not both means what that permutation is not even and odd at the same time that may be either even or odd but not both therefore therefore total number of permutations in sn therefore total number of permutations number of permutations in sn is equal to that is number of odd permutations and number of even permutation this is equal to number of odd permutations plus number of number of odd permutations plus number of even permutations this implies that total number of permutations is in sn is n factorial is equal to total number of odd permutation is what we have total number of odd permutation is equal to total number of even permutations so this is equal to 2 into total number of even permutations even permutations this implies that n factorial divided by 2 is equal to total number of odd permutations and similarly and similarly since and this implies that total number of odd permutations odd permutations is equal to n factorial by 2 and total number of even permutations a is equal to n factorial by 2 so exactly half are even permutations hence the proof and exactly half are odd permutations thank you student